Hello friends, my name's Ariel Emil and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 3 Ace Spec. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 10 and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at another one of the beginner league races, this time taking a look at the Front Wheel Drive Challenge. Now, in our garage we only have one Front Wheel Drive car and it's a PT Cruiser, so we're not using that. So instead we're actually going to go ahead and buy ourselves a brand new Front Wheel Drive car and the one I've decided on is, well, the Civic Type R, because of course it is, because it's me, and I adore this car. It's the EK9 model, you can get it in yellow, it's fantastic. So let's go ahead and buy this. Let's indeed get into it. Um, anyways, someone said something about RX-7s, I'm not paying attention to it, because I don't care. Anyways, uh, front wheel drive challenge, of course, as you'd expect, there are actually some restrictions this time around, so as you can see there, look, drive tripe uh, for front wheel drive cars only, we're getting a little bit more money from this one, so that's nice. Anyways, races are going to take place at Deep Forest Raceway, Special Stage Route 5 and the Rome Circuit, let's start with the Deep Forest Raceway first. Okay, in this race we have a Lupo Cup car, oh dear, a Peugeot 206, Toyota Yaris, Demio and the new Beetle, so that should be fun to race against, so let's get into it. Alright, let's, here we go, the Lupo Cup car is of course the, uh, the biggest issue, probably, in this race, we'll have to see. I mean, he shouldn't have any straight line speed, uh, but I think that thing does run racing tyres, so A, that should be fun to deal with. A uh, car which I'm not worried about is the one that's in front of us. Sorry, Mazda Demio. I do love you, but, uh, yeah, you're a bit outclassed here. There's also Yaris. Don't uh, don't discount the Yaris. Those Yarises are ridiculously quick. Also, it is very strange to drive something that can actually handle corners now. Hmm. Compared to this A86, compared to that A86, this uh, Civic is an uh, aerial atom. It's very nice to drive, actually. Uh, right, although the aerial atom isn't very nice to drive, but whatever. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, look at that, look at that grip. We have so much more grip in this car, it's glorious. Alright, up the inside of a silly Peugeot. I don't know where to stay a meme. I mean, you should stay. Why does it only have 174 horsepower? Good question. Doesn't this thing have like 182? I don't know. I think this has the um, Gran Turismo trademark. Um... They call them car dealer men, uh, where basically it lies the power figures. You actually have to buy the car before it tells you the power figures. GT2 had it a lot, which got really infuriating. Also, as I predicted, the Lupo Cup car is... Uh, it, it's not quick, <laughs> which, I mean, you know, I'm not surprised by. And I might actually have the handling of the Lupo Cup car as well, which, which is something else. So, yeah. Anyways... Um, yeah, I mean, these, swapping a Corvette C6 engine in the PC Cruiser would have been cool, certainly. Grand Turismo has never had engine swaps. It should have engine swaps, I don't know. Anyways, it has six. Oh my, this game. Yes, this game, it's GT3. Also, hello, Elka. I think I've got that right. Because, hey, this is the next LP game, although it will run a... Um, okay, actually, I should quickly explain this um, to stream. Now, I know I said this with Forza 2, but I think I'm genuinely going to do it this time. There is going to be two Let's Plays during this. Menus seem really bright. Uh, yeah, it's... Um, I think it's just the stream quality. Uh, in the actual LP, it will look a little bit better. Uh, I can always die down the colours if I need to as well. Uh, basically, on my Elgato, I've got slightly more hue um, in the things, just so things appear a little bit more vibrant. Um, so, yeah, but I can tune that down, uh, in editing. Yeah, I got the name right, lovely. Uh, but yes, anyways, I did say I'd do this during Forza 2, however, I'm actually going to do this now. I'm going to try and run two Let's Plays side by side with each other, so you've got GT3, which I'm going to be streaming some days, and then other days, we'll probably be streaming a different LP game, so, yeah, um... That should be something at least. Uh, I don't know how they're gonna run sort of video wise. I don't know if I'll alternate them or something. Uh, but the plan is to record sort of two LPs at the same time. Um, one sort of classic -y game like this, and I've got a few sort of odds and ends in my LP list, which could do with uh, rounding up. So, yeah. That should be fun. 
Anyways, we did beat the Lupo Cup car by quite a bit, and the Demio. Poor Demio didn't do particularly well. Do a 360 across the line. Uh, you said that at the wrong time, buddy. Literally as I finished the race. Anyways, there we go. That's uh, the end of that. In a front wheel drive hatch. <laughs> yep. Anyway, special stage route 5 is the next track we're going to be going to. Alright, we're on to the next race, and the AI cars remain relatively the same. Uh, so that's something. Anyways, um, so yeah, hopefully this does work out. So I think, sort of by my logic, I'm also going to alternate the streaming game. So one night I'll stream GT3, i.e. tonight, and then the next night I'll end up streaming whatever the other LP is. So yeah, um, I, I have a rough idea of what the next game is. Um, I don't want to say Demino, yeah, the Demio, uh, damn delay, yeah. I don't really particularly want to say what the next game is, uh, yeah, but I do have an idea. It is definitely going to be a divisive game, I don't think the same stream audience is going to be showing up to, uh, the other game I'm planning on doing. I will say it involves cars though, so that's something. Um, also, by the way, in case you're curious, I do actually <laughs> As I'm streaming this, hopefully by the time, well, obviously by the time you're watching this, yeah, it's a VTech. Oh yeah, I should actually use the third-person view a bit more. Um, in case you're curious, by the time I've actually, this goes out, obviously it'll be done. Um, but as I'm streaming this, I still haven't recorded the last few episodes of Need for Speed Underground. Still need to do that. Um, stream TXR, I'm not streaming TXR. I, I don't like TXR, we've been over this not playing that game ever again. I don't like it. Uh, I still never got how that AI car had the balls to bring a race car to this. No idea. Uh, America dies soon. Oh yeah, right. It's 40 minutes until we find out whether we're going to get some... Um, well, a man with a hairpiece or a woman who... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, that's not being streamed. We've been over this. That's not being anything. <laughs> That's just going to be recorded. One on one. Is it a GTA game? Is it not Grand Theft Auto? No. Uh, GTA is definitely a possibility in the future. Um, but no, it's it it is a racing game. Uh, yeah, GTA is definitely something I'm gonna look to do. I've just got to work out sort of where, how, and how. Um, yeah, that twice. I'm gonna do that. Uh, GTA, I probably won't ever play 5, but 3, Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Storage, Vice City Storage, and GTA 4 are all contenders. PGR 2, uh, I don't have an original Xbox. Uh, on, on 360, the backwards compatibility does not work on PGR 2. Um, basically, it crashes all the time, and the, the, um, the screen likes to go black a lot through the menus. It's a fun game. I love PGR 2, but is it London Racer 2? Uh, no, doesn't like TXR triggered. Sorry, I just don't like it. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm sorry. Uh, Saints Row. Nope. It's a racy game. Play some fucking PC games. That's not happening. I don't like playing games on a computer. And recording games on PC is a nightmare. So, not. You're a racer. I forgot about the game, but no, it's not that. Um, I still need to buy that. PS3 cable. Uh, not Ridge Racer, no. Uh, I'm gonna say um, it's a divisive racing game. It's one that has certainly has its critics. Um, it's one that I have streamed before and it involves um, story mode. Also, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Jesus. <sighs> My nose. It's really hurting there for a second for some reason. Also, that Lupo isn't getting past, I would assume. <laughs> Cross the line. Ah. Drift Streets. Th I don't even know what that is. Anyways. And the Demio comes last again. I like how the Beetle keeps getting beaten by Yaris. Bear in mind the Yaris in this game, like that particular model, Yaris has about 80 horsepower. Test drive? Nope. Recording on PC is easier. No, it is not. Um, not through Elgato, it isn't. Anyways, Rome Circuit is the final uh, circuit we're going to be going to. Okay, anyways, final race. 
grid layout's exactly the bloody same, so Alan Mal. Uh, alright. Let's, uh, let's see how well we can shape up here. Go! Everything gets off the line very slowly. But yeah, no, the, uh, the next game, okay. If you want some more clues, it is an Xbox title. Well, it's on Xbox. It's a cross-platform title, but I'm going to be playing it on Xbox. It is a modern racing game. Story mode. Uh, oh, boosters. I think I know. Oh, God. What do you think it is? I'm curious. It's got to be NFS Rivals. Um... You're going down the right path, but it's not Rivals. Um, Forza Horizon 2? Nope. Forza Horizon 2 actually will come later on. Um, I wasn't a divisive racing game. Everyone liked Horizon 2. Uh, but Horizon 2 is definitely coming. That is something I'm planning. Um, it is an NFS game, yeah. Guess which one it is. Um, the one that was a blockbuster hit. Fast and Furious game at the local arcade, clearly. Um, most Wanted 2012? N ew. No. Go look at the LP list, it should make it pretty obvious. Um, Mafia 3? Oh god. I don't even have Mafia 3, I know it's supposed to be terrible. Oh yeah, actually that reminds me of something. I actually get paid uh, this week, so that's nice. So, uh, it's not Most Wanted 2012. Um... um it's not undercover. Uh, I'm, yeah. Anyways, I actually get paid this week, so guess what that means, guys? We're going to buy 2K17. So there will be a uh, WWE 2K17 stream at, uh, at some point. That will be hilarious amounts of fun, because the last one was Pro Street. I actually like Pro Street. Um, I am actually going to do Pro Street at some point. I mean, now that I've done Underground, Underground 2... Um, yeah, Pro's got it. It is, it, it is the thing. Horizon 1, I've already done Horizon 1. Uh, I'm gonna redo it, because it was the first LP I did. Um, but still, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the, uh, that, that's the game which I'm planning to run alongside this as the first one. Bear in mind, that game should be done in about 30 parts, so don't expect that to stick around long. Basically, the plan is... This is going to be the Juno LP, and then we're going to have the, uh, I mean, will he stream it ever? Uh, Horizon 1, if I redid the LP of Horizon 1, I might go ahead and stream it. Um, I could stream some multiplayer action with Horizon 1 once, to be honest with you, um, because it's kind of a fun game. Uh, but still, Horizon 1 has been LP'd. Handling his balls. Handling his balls in Pro Street. I can confirm that, but, uh, yeah. Don't care for WWE. No, I mean, the game... You've got to admit, though, the game is kind of fun. Just because it, like, just has lots of glitches and fun. I'm actually going to LP that at some point as well. My plan this year is to stream 2K17, get a feel for it, and then I'm actually going to LP it. I don't know if I'm going to stream it. Maybe not. Um... Might we do that as like a group LP with a couple of buddies because that might be kind of fun to do. Um, because yeah, we can just provide our own commentary on that. That might be the route I go down with 2K17, but I have got plans for uh, doing some stuff with 2K17 because 2K16 was a load of fun. That was actually one of the more fun games I've played this year. Um, I I had a hoot with that game to be honest with you. So. Anyways, there we go, we're, uh, we're finished, we're across the line, we're all of that. Uh, the Debio finishes last again, and I don't think, I think those cars have finished pro... Pro racing was. A. Eh? Anyways, uh, that is the end of that, so that actually means that we will be getting a prize car. What are we going to be winning? We're going to be winning a... Oh, it's that. <laughs> Oh, it, it's the thing, the meme, the legend. <sighs> uh, lovely. All right, anyways, uh, that has made me kind of happy. All right, let's go have a look at our prospect. Let us go and have a look at Z prospect. It's the RS 109 horsepower. That's actually more than I was expecting. 
Oh, it's fucking pink. Oh, yes. What, what are we running here? Um, dual overhead cam. 940 kilograms. All right. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, um, yeah. Anyways, that fucking thing. Oh, God. Right. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll be taking a look at the front engine rear drive challenge. Uh, so join me for that. Anyways, friends, that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you all very much for watching, uh, and until next time, farewell.